I am a progressive and I am a Zionist. My grandmother Chava came to Israel in the 30s from Ostroleka, Poland. She came without money and property, but my mother received excellent public education. When she was sick, her health care was free. My grandmother worked as a preschool teacher for 30 years. She received fair wages and social rights because she was a union member. In college, I became involved in Israel labor community. The Israeli economy was booming, but inequality and poverty were on the rise. Low wage workers were being left behind. I joined a group who established a new labor union, Koach Laovdim. Koach Laovdim, alongside the Istadrut, Israel's largest union, revived Israel labor movement. Union membership, which had been declined for decades, is now on the rise. <laughs> 200,000 workers have organized in Israel over the last decade. Today, I manage the Beryl Katzenelson Center, named after the father of progressive Zionism. We educate and train leaders, activists, organizers in universities, in the civil service, and in different communities throughout the country. The pre-military academy we establish sits 60 meters from my office. Next door is the bilingual Hebrew-Arab kindergarten, where Jewish and Arab kids play together every day. <clears throat> These two institutions demonstrate the progressive Zionist way. I deeply believe this is the right path for my country. In my work, I meet progressive leaders from around the world. I am grateful that the majority of them support Israel. However, some who call themselves progressive are openly hostile to Israel. They don't criticize Israel's policy. They take a stand against its very existence as a Jewish and democratic state. I know that many of you are familiar with the anti-Israel boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement known as BDS. BDS calls on countries and organizations to cut ties with Israel. BDS shrouded itself in social justice language, mistakenly creating a seemingly natural partnership with the progressive community. BDS is based on hypocrisy. <clears throat> it is clocked behind the call for human rights yet it completely ignores, rejects, the importance of a Jewish homeland. In truth, if BDS leaders cared for the welfare of the, for the, welfare of the Palestinians, they would support more, greater economic and social cooperation, not isolation. In truth, if BDS leaders cared for peace, they would cooperate with us, progressive Israelis who are fighting for peace. As a progressive working in Israel's social justice and peace movement, as a Zionist, I will always want to change Israel for the better, because I know that if out of the ashes we were able 
to create a Jewish state, a language, a thriving society, we can fix anything that needs to be fixed. We should do the exact opposite of what BDS supporters advocate. They think that Israel speaks one voice, and all Israelis are alike. We should provide a space for the multiplicity of voices. They think that Israel is not a real democracy. We know that the internal conflicts in the Israeli society and the freedom to express even the strongest criticism are Israel's greatest strength. I believe that Israel is worth, is worth fighting to both protect and improve, wherever and however possible. At the core of the Jewish teaching is the idea of the city on the hill, the belief that we must always be, or Lagoim, the light unto the nations. For me, it, war, it means working towards a just and shared society. For all of you here, I ask that you continue to support Israel. We must remember always the lessons of the past. If we believe in something, if it is change we seek, we must be willing to act. Thank you.